What's up? I'm Van, and today I want to show how to construct a circle through three non-collinear points. Now, non-collinear points just mean that the three points are not on the same line. So I have three points here that are scattered like this. And if you have any three non-collinear points, you could always find a circle that hits through all three of those points. So what I have to do is I have to construct the perpendicular bisector of AB and BC. So this takes a little bit, but I extend the compass to more than halfway from A to B. And I'm going to swing an arc like this above. And then I move it over here and I swing the arc below. So now I move the compass over to point B. And I'm going to repeat this process. So we're going over to point B here. And I swing the arc in this direction. See, it hits that initial arc that we made. And I swing it again. So now these two intersection points I'm just going to connect. And this is going to represent the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. And I'll just straighten this out a bit just to make sure it's nice and neat. So this here, I could extend this too, is going to help us find the center of our circle. So now to complete this construction, what I have to do is I have to set the compass on point B. And now I want to find the perpendicular bisector of segment BC. So what we have here is if I swing this arc above, we have one of the arcs here that's going to help us and now I, what i want what i want to do is i'm going to move the compass below and i'll swing the arc below in this direction so i know there's a lot of overlap here but we just have to pay very close attention to where these new arcs intersect so we have one intersection point right there and then we could see the second intersection point to aim for is here so now all we have to do once again is just connect these two points of intersection and I'll straighten this out. I'll make it nice and neat. So we could see here, this is going to hit the second intersection point and this is going through the first one. So now here, notice the two perpendicular bisectors intersect all the way down here. And if I call this circle O, this represents the center of circle O. And the concept of why this works is remember the perpendicular bisector is the set of all points that are equidistant from points A and B. So this one represents all the points the same distance from A and B. And this perpendicular bisector represents all the points that are the same distance away from B and C. So the intersection of those two represents the point that is the same distance away from A, B, and C. So that's why this process, once again, does work. So now all I have to do to complete this construction is I'm going to set the compass on the center of the circle O. And I just extend the compass so that it hits any one of these points. And now when we swing the arc, Notice here, I'm going to go all the way around and we'll scroll down a bit so we could see this. But the center O here, when I swing the arc through A all the way around, this circle hits all three points. So this is the construction of the circle that goes through points A, B, and C. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this construction. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.